Um, as you know, I was in a very enviable position. I had a great opportunity to serve as Deputy Borough President. Working with Borough President Melinda Katz has been an absolute pleasure. But my community kept coming to me, asking me to take this on because they were unhappy with the incumbent. And they thought that the incumbent um, had been disconnected from the community, um, that had um, not been responsive to things that they needed to see change in the community. And um, a lot of people were frankly um, very disappointed with a few of the things that he had done. And they were disappointed to see that he continually um, with, that he continually did things that people felt were no longer um, positive for the district. Right, and you're obviously speaking about uh, State Senator Malcolm Smith, who had some allegations against him of corruption. Yes, but even despite those issues, there were other issues that the community felt that he was not being responsive to, and that they felt that, um, you know, even in lieu of that, um, and, and well, let me say it differently, that that only compounded um, their decision to ask me to return to city service, or uh, to service and, and to serve in the state. And I was frankly overwhelmed by requests from people that um, every segment of the community, every segment in the district, um, there were parts of the district that he never bothered to send a representative to. As you know, the district lines changed in 2012. Uh, there were parts of the district that I uh, had no idea uh, and that didn't feel like they would ever be represented um, by him. There were other parts of the district that knew him for years and felt that his time was up. And now, and wherever I went in the community, um, there was a hue and cry from the, the clergy, from community people, from people on the street that enjoyed my um, service um, to the community as a city council member. They thought that I had the um, you know, right set of skills that they needed for the community, and they overwhelmingly asked me to run for state senate. Um, I think what gives me the head start is that I was able to work with a lot of the legislators in Albany, a lot of the people that are involved in making things happen in government. Um, I had a decent uh, track record of, you know, being someone known as someone that is serious about working with people, about building collaborations and building consensus. Um, does that give me a special head start? Um, you know, I hope so. Um, I hope that, you know, in Albany I will be able to quickly align myself with all of the people that are interested in making positive things happen for my district and for the state as a whole. And even before that, how did you first get interested in politics? Was, was there some turning point in your life? Watergate hearings. I, I hate to date myself, but, you know, I was, um, you know, a young person watching the Watergate hearings, realizing that government can have a profound impact on people. And when I looked at the people in the Watergate hearings, I realized that I needed to have someone from my community uh, that could interact with government, that could um, get people from my community that would feel comfortable with talking with that person. And that, you know, if government can corrupt and if government can um, influence people to lives, we needed to make sure that we had people from my community that were in a position to help. And that's why I got involved in government. So I started volunteering at the, at the local level. I um, became a volunteer at the, the local Democratic Club. I found out who the people in my community were that, was, that had gotten involved in politics. And I started with the um, campaign for Jimmy Carter. And then I just got involved at every level in local government. Uh, to be honest, John, I'm still working on that, so I don't want to announce anything yet. I want to get up there and talk with my colleagues. I want to get up there and understand the, the positions of, of all of the um, entities that are up there before I start making any pronouncements on what part of the world I want to change. So I just want to be impactful. Um, I want to be uh, someone in Albany that people can come and speak with. I want to be a legislator that members in the Senate and and um, the assembly can come and work with on issues and you know I want to figure out my content area after I understand um, what's going on as far as the how the 
issues in the session are flowing. That's why I came today to City and State. I want to thank City and State for um, hosting this conference because it gave me an idea on what some of the priorities for the legislators um, will be in Albany next year. But before I make any pronouncement on what my most important issue is, um, I want to know what's going on in as far as the, the ebb and flow in Albany is concerned. I don't want to get out there and say I want to do X and that's not even part of Albany's agenda for next year. I'd rather be part of um, making sure that the things that can happen, especially me coming there as a freshman, um, I want to make sure that I'm part of whatever is critical um, and that I can speak to it in a manner that can gain me um, the opportunity to be impactful.